Joining me now from Southern California, candidate for California Congressional District 36 and lead proponent of the recall of California Governor Gavin Newsom, Aaron Cruz. Aaron, good news. What, you got about 150,000 unofficially? Well, 150,000 signatures? The report well, isn't <laughs> in. The uh, counties have until March 6th the, yes. to give the corrected numbers to the Secretary of State. Julie, can we throw those numbers up there, please? Go ahead, Erin. Yes. We will know more at that time exactly what the numbers were. The numbers that you're talking about are from January. Okay. We had a huge push at the end of January and the beginning of February because finally mercury news and other agencies started reporting you know we had a big talk with the news in uh, california the la times uh, san francisco chronicle all these big hitters and said why why are you coming to us three days before the deadline why didn't you report to the people at the beginning of the recall yeah. gavin newsom has been a disaster for california and so, your only job is to report to the people so, so. is there is there some a, a silver lining to all this i mean it, yes, it, i i worry california is well, fired up i we worry that it could backfire year. and embolden this guy oh i don't know Can't if get any can worse? get more bold <laughs> He's a communist. Look what he's doing. They're literally wanting to pay criminals and drug addicts on the streets to not do drugs and then also pay the homeless for the plot of land that they're sleeping on all the while uh, they're wanting to take and they've just passed a bill that's going to take any homes, residential properties that are not inhabited for 90 days out of the property owner's hands. I mean, right. we're talking about radicalism. Yep. And I believe that Californians have woken up. We've worked very hard over the last 12 months to make impact. Yep. And we're not going to stop. If we have to file again, we will. Well, you're also a candidate for yes. Congress in the 36th district, which is uh, Riverside County, more or less, in, uh, in California. Stretches all the way to the, uh, the border with Arizona, by the way. Uh, yes, your mission is, uh, you have a, a Hispanic sounding last name. I don't know if you're Latina or not, but the bottom line is part of your mission is to let all these people know in this district, which is heavy Hispanic, um, that, that, that your values, conservative values, Republican values, are Hispanic values. Well, absolutely, and here's what it comes down to. We currently also have a radical uh, in Congress representing our district who votes 95 to 98 percent of the time with Pelosi, Adam Schiff, and Maxine Waters, and he does not represent the values in our district. He is a Seventh-day Adventist who uh, voted for infanticide. Uh, you know, we're talking about serious things here. Um, and, you know, the lar largely the district is made up of a lot of working people, retirees and veterans who are afraid that they may have to leave their state. And I'll tell you what, I'm a person, I'm a regular woman, I'm a mother, I'm a widow. I live in the district. I love the people of California. I was born and raised here and I'm going to fight for California and I will do it in D.C. And so you've got, uh, I've got about 10 seconds left. You've got a couple of days left before the March yes. 3rd primary. What do you do? You know, we've just been reaching out to the district, canvassing, uh, a lot of phone calls and, and meeting with the people. You know, their top issues are national security. Their top issues are quality of life issues. And they and need the good economy and preserving the pretty good economy, right? Yes, I would imagine that's, that's a high priority. Absolutely. Economy is number one. All right. National security and economy. The website is AaronCruz.org this time. Yes. AaronCruz.org for people who want more information. Hopefully you win the primary and we yes. get to see you again on the program talking about running against whoever out of the jungle primary. Aaron, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Graham. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.